Leo, hello, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here with me uh, for your weekend tarot reading. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watches dealing with a lovely Leo. We'll see what's coming up for you um, this weekend, what messages. Um, so let's look at overall energy first though. So let's tip, uh, tap into that, shall we? Uh, Leo, see what's going on there. Okay, overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Okay, you are so set on not acting and being stubborn and proving your point to someone here. Okay, Leo, I feel like you're being your quintessential self here, unapo unapologetically you. Okay, so not surprised, but what I'm getting from this is that uh, it's telling me you're waiting for someone else to take action and I'm sensing and I'm guessing there's a lot of ego involved in this situation. Okay, I feel like what's coming to mind is uh, if they really want it, they can get it. If they really want me, they can work for me. If they really want this, they have to show me. So I, I feel like it's a bit of tough love here. Um, so you're either giving tough love or you're receiving it. To be honest, I feel like you're giving out some tough love. I feel like you're teaching someone a lesson here. Ace of Wands reversed. I feel like the universe is trying to push you to do something, but you're not doing it. It's like you're going against the grain here with that Ace of Wands um, in a reversal. Let's see what's going on here. I also feel like some of you are ready, you're like this close to letting something or someone go. Yeah, I feel like there's, uh, I'm sensing there's some hesitations coming up. I'm really drawn to that page of swords. Um, but you're not, you're not talking about it. You're somehow trying to show this person rather than communicate it to them. Because that King of Swords is reversed, which tells me it's like, you, what's going on, Leo? You either said you, you've either spoken to this person a lot and you keep telling them the issue and they're not fixing it. Or it's like, you, it's like an unspoken thing. You're not communicating it though. And I feel like your person is struggling to know what they're doing wrong. Okay, aces are coming up. Both is reversed, so, okay, this is going to be a bit juvenile, but I'm picking up an energy that your person is not going to act either, and I feel like you're both going to be stubborn about whatever is going on here. You're both not going to take action. Both aces are reversed. The judgment card reversed, <sighs> all right, it's like a clash of the egos here. Who can hold out the longest without talking? Who's the one who's not going to bring it up? Who's the one that's going to last longer? Who's the one that's going to hit harder? Who's the one that's going to hit below the belt? It's just a tit for tat situation here. It's not healthy and it's not going to move you forward. For you right now though, I feel like there's no convincing you and you're just going to do whatever you want to do. I mean, you're Leo after all. So um, I don't think with the eight of ones, you're going to take any action or you're going to be the one to reach out or whatever it is. Um, I'm feeling like right now you need to see someone's behavior change. You want to see someone's behavior change um, because right now they're not doing anything to, I'm not seeing any changes in, in terms of a positive light where someone's making these positive changes and things are, are getting better in the relationship. In fact, I'm getting a regressing. Someone's going back to their old ways. I don't know, Leo, if this is for you. You're going back to your old ways here. You're doing something you used to do. Maybe it worked for you before. It might not be working so much now. It's ego-based, I'm getting. Um, or it could be your person. And like I said, I feel like you are close to letting someone go. But it's, it's not even like you're not even going to tell them anymore. It's just a message of you're not even going to reply. You're not going to bother. Um, you're just going to leave. Uh, uh, possibly like ghosting even. Um, because the judgment card tells me you're not going to give them a closure. You're just going to simply walk away from the situation or walk away from them. It's hard because you've built something here 
that has made you feel safe in a way with them or it's like you built something towards the future like maybe you both put in money to save for a home or you both have put money aside for your children or you it's like you already invested into your distant future with this person so it's like that's why maybe there's a part of you that's still not wanting to walk away entirely just yet because of that but i get i gather you're getting sick of someone here okay you're getting sick of what they're doing or sick of what they're not doing and you are sick and tired of it you i feel like it's it's next level now it never used to be this bad and i feel like the the deeper and deeper you go into this the more you're switching off um like i said that could be that investment that makes you second guess leaving or ghosting altogether um but i feel like the way you leave if you choose to leave them will say a lot okay about how you feel towards the relationship how you feel towards them the respect that you have for the for them and uh, for the relationship as well it's going to be very telling um is what i'm picking up almost like a very very telling situation mm. but judgment could mean you've judged too harshly it's reversed so i feel like i don't know i feel like there's something about a bad judgment call like you keep thinking to yourself that was a bad judgment call to trust this person or that was bad of me to be vulnerable with them or like it's like you're criticizing yourself for doing something and having that bad judgment but you didn't know at the time leo if you had known better you probably would have done differently um things would have probably went diff down a different avenue but you didn't know like there there was no way of you knowing right unless you repeatedly ignored some red flags but i feel like you can't be too harsh on yourself but i do feel like it's a bit of this waiting game of who's the one to submit first, who's going to be the one to break the ice or be the first one to speak or be the first one to reach out or whatever it is that's going on here. And I feel like time is ticking. I do. Obviously, it's going to be up to you, Leo, what you choose to do. Um, but it depends. It depends on what they're doing here, or what they're not doing here for you. And is it enough? Is it not enough or is it enough? So... That's going to be up to you here, lovely Leo, but um, I'll leave it there. So thank you again for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to drop a like on this vid and also to subscribe and sign up for membership. Otherwise, we'll be catching up soon. So lots of love and bye for now.